Hey, Darren Campbell with Confident Home Solutions, licensed general contractor and modeler in North Carolina. I'm going to show you what we did to fix the spillage of all contractors. Well, I guess I could even say for a handyman or a, uh, you know what, even if I was a home, a person that had multiple batteries, I would be doing this. All right. So there was one day that we were on the job and we were getting close to holiday and I told my son, no more. I told my son, no more. I was like, we are taking care of this. I don't know what we're going to do. We, I am tired of burning up real estate on the bathroom floor or hallway or, or in the kitchen, wherever we're working with batteries. I was like, we're done. <laughs> it was over. And let me show you what we came up with. Ta-da! It works pretty good for us. Let me show you exactly what we came up with, uh, why we laid it out the way we did, and I think you'll be pretty impressed. It's worked for us. We've had this for, I think, probably a couple years. Starting to show some wear on it, but she's a workhorse. All right. So, if you put aside what's actually hanging on here, uh, Metabo, uh, Milwaukee, uh, what are some of the others? Um, Bosch 18 volt could be up here. None of that matters. I mean, if you only charge all Milwaukee, it could be set up. Okay, let me go over and show you why and what was our thinking behind setting this up this way. Okay, so we run uh, several different batter battery platforms and not all of them are on here. Uh, Metabo's not on here, Fez Tool's not on here, a Bosch 18 volts not on here. Yes, we run them and we do have a few Makita or uh, Milwaukee tools that are not on here. But this is our, uh, for the vast majority, our carpentry tools. We run our track saw, our miter saw, uh, our router. Uh, we got a lot of tools running off this, this platform. Bosch, we run um, a 12, 12 volt uh, jigsaw with a Collins coping head. We have their planer. Um, a bunch of their lights, 12 volt lights, awesome. The best light out there as far as I'm concerned in, in that size package. Um, this right here is our table saw, our lights. Uh, we have multiple saws in this. Oh, yeah, we do have a circular saw that we're running off Makita. Uh, and our drills and impacts are off the DeWalt. Uh, let me move this on flex fold up here so that way you can see the handle. All right, so we fashioned this in a way that would take very little real estate, very little real estate when it's uh, set in the hallway just outside of your workroom or if you do have a large enough workroom, it could go in there. Now, every contractor varies and to how much you can trust leaving tools on job sites. So I can just, I can only speak for us. Uh, we primarily work in uh, a mid to upper end uh, remodeling jobs. I mean, we do we do uh, some other than remodeling, but for the most part, that's what we do. So we're able to leave a fair amount of our tools on job each night um, if, if, if the home is occupied, definitely. Uh, the next thing is um, we trust our uh, subs. I'm not worried about any of our subs uh, taking our tools. So with all that being said, our biggest issue was getting the cords off the ground, and this did it. We, we were using very little real estate in the size of footprint that this takes up. There was a couple benefits that we weren't realizing when we built this. Is One is how much easier it is to grab a uh, battery out of a charger. Now this one right here is approximately 8 inches, but the batteries keep going up. It means that much less bending over. That's a big benefit. The second benefit is the charger's hooked solid to something. All right, so benefit number two. Benefit number three, um, of course, that they're all hooked off one switch. Yes, we wired them in to where we can hit that, turn them on and off at the end of a job, kill all the power. That way we don't have to worry about well, burning, the home, burning the person's home down, what have you. I don't want to be that contractor. Uh, I think that's number three. Number four. Um, the lights, and where are they? Yeah, the lights, so you know what, let me plug it in. Hopefully the camera picks it up. But with, uh, with these lights, it's gonna get a little noisy, 
because all these, uh, except for the Bosch, these are all both fast chargers, the DeWalt and the Makita, and so they're gonna have fans on them. All right, so I don't know if you can see the lights flashing, but within, I'm, I'm gonna say, uh, if it's not a real bright day, or if you're in a, inside the house, you can see from 30 to 40 feet away at the stage that these are charged, with it being on the angle it is. Uh, I'm gonna plug it to this. That should shut off. Cool. Just the Makita now. All right, let me shut it off. All right, so, and you can see what size battery's in there. You know, if we're running some of our bigger saws, you know, I can see a flex bolt hanging off there quite a ways away. If these are laying on the ground, it's just from my past experience, you can't see. You have to make the trip all the way over there. Um, you know, I can point to Harley or whoever's there and say, hey, you know, grab me such and such battery. Uh, you know, it, either way, it works really well. So I took this, I took this here. I don't know what angle it is, but I'm gonna show you what we made ours at. We're 28 and a half inches tall. Uh, looks like I took um, a two inch hole saw for the, the handle and I have a, um, edge to edge of the hole saws are seven inches. Uh, the width of this is 15 inches. Um, the base all the way to the bottom is 11 inches and it comes up to I did not run it all the way to the top. Let me see, I am 22 and a half inches right, right to there. The concern in the back. I'll tell you what, let me, uh, let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so what you're looking at here is about uh, 10 to 12 feet right there. I can't remember exactly what it is. Make it whatever length you want. Um, put it into a, um, um, a box right there with a switch. So we can cut it easily at night. Um, yeah, it's dirty. Hey, it is what it is. Deal with it. Uh, and it, it's really nice outside, so I wasn't about to close the door. I bought this from um, Home Depot. It's a rigid, rigid uh, width, um, the GFI in the center. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, and it has, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Five places to plug in, so you yeah, have potentially, you could mount five different charges on this rigid, um, uh, I don't know what that thing's called. Um, they had it right in their corded section. So I bought myself a female plug, wired it into this 14-3 wire. Well, it's 14-2 with a ground, but. Um, and then bought myself a, the male plug-in. So, let me zoom back out. Okay, so I went over why we wanted to get it off the floor, uh, the unintended benefits we, we didn't really see um, what's going to happen by doing this, um, but this handle, I already covered the dimensions of it, uh, but when you're carrying it beside yourself, it works out really well. It, it, it um, carries straight, so in, in, in along that um, way of thinking when you're carrying it um, these chargers always have batteries in them so we have batteries in the tools and batteries up here so not only does this carry your work for holding your chargers it works excellent for holding the batteries too now you're like well you can't be constantly carrying them that way this has been set up for two years this way it, um, and they do get taken um, off the job quite often and so they're beating down the road in the in the vehicles uh, if there was something I would do again, um, this needs to be recessed. You know, when I built this the first time, I didn't want to put very much time into this as far as recessing it. Uh, yeah. So I think it would be nice to have this recessed a little bit so this wasn't protruding out at all. That on our next one that we build, that'll definitely be on there. Um, not all of our chargers are on this. Um, I think I'd already mentioned that, but you know, it does the vast majority of what we need to do. 
Uh, you know, I don't think I covered how we strapped it down. I think I think we took a couple eighth inch drill bits. Um, these are real long straps. You can get them any box stores. Uh, this right here, we switched from. Uh, We've had a couple different DeWalt chargers. Well, we wanted to actually get some DeWalt chargers on here that were fast chargers that would handle the flex bolts. So we threw them on and uh, they just got some um, uh, HVAC zip ties. We haven't put the straps back on. Um, we probably need to tweak the top a little bit. These are perfect. The Makita's perfect. Uh, the, the DeWalt's could be pulled a little bit away from each other. Um, when we got two flex bolts up here, they get kind of tight right in this area, so we probably need to address that, but they, it's still manageable. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, really appreciate a, uh, um, a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button. Got a bunch of cool ideas that we're going to be showing you, um, things that we've implemented in our remodeling company, and there it is. You know, I've, I've told you what I think of it. We got to check with uh, Sig to see what he thinks of it, and he'll be the final judge of it.